Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to your favorite series on the internet, Guess the Elo. It's been a while since we've recorded one of these episodes, it's been about a month, and in that time, a lot of news has shaken up planet Earth, but none more significant than my retirement from competitive chess play. However, I have not retired from entertaining and educating you as we watch some of our volunteer viewers submit their games and battle it out on the 64 squares for our amusement. Before we jump into the games today, I am not going to promote a sponsor, uh, so don't click ahead. I would like to tell you about a Georgian chess family, uh, and they are trying to save their son. Uh, their son is one, one and a half years old uh, and battling high-risk neuroblastoma, and their only options remaining uh, are to raise enough money for a treatment that is only available in two different countries. Uh, and there is a GoFundMe link in the description of this video. I have donated to their campaign, and I'm hoping that the chess community can come together and raise enough funds uh, for them to get this treatment for their son. So, a uh, bit of a more serious note than typical Guess the Elo episodes, but these episodes tend to get a good amount of viewership, so if you can find it in your heart, if you can find it in your financial capability, uh, please, uh, let's bring the chess community together for this initiative. And uh, yeah, on that note, let's jump into today's games. All right, ladies and gentlemen, let's hide the music from YouTube so they don't know that we enjoy ourselves here and they will not crash the party. All right, game one, C4, beautiful stuff. Got the engine on, C4, we got an English Scandinavian, all right? Got an English Scandinavian, all right? It's like if Magnus Carlsen fought David Howell, all right? This is just a completely loose, this is not the Scandinavian defense. Okay, because there's knight c3, and white gets two center pawns. Okay, so white should play d4, e4. Those are the two next best moves. That is also very reasonable. I like developing, you know. B Ooh. Okay, so here's the secret to chess. The knight should be developed before the bishops. You hear me say this quite frequently, folks, right? Because you don't know where the other pieces want to go. The move b6 is atrocious. It's a completely disgusting move. Um, I'm retired and I wouldn't even play that move. Um, yeah, because like the queen, the whole point of the Scandinavian is to play this and bring the queen back, right? So now the queen can't do that. Also, this is weak. So let's e4, come on. Okay, so I guess white was inspired by the Fian Keto and wanted to do it themselves. Okay, so now we actually kind of have a reasonable position. Except it's not reasonable at all. Because the queen is the piece that's blocking a belligerent and violent attack that will potentially develop in the next few moves. Okay, so here we go. So I will play a3 here, this one, or a4. I like that move too. Okay, now I would play a3, b4. Okay, I don't hate that move. Not a bad move. Okay, queen h5. Now I would play a4, a5. Okay, that move is also not bad. <laughs> um, but if black defends, when your queen leads the attack, you might suffer some problems, okay? You might, you might not know... Yeah, like, you do all this, right? And I, 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 I kind of feel like this is not... Wait. Yeah, like, what do you do now? What? That's the top engine move? Oh, just winning? Oh, I didn't see that. But my sub did. Wow. Wow. And the point is that the king... Yeah, I didn't... That's why I'm retired and they're on Guess the Elo. <laughs> Wait, that doesn't make any sense. <laughs> wow. Check here, and now you don't take with the pawn, although you might be winning anyway. Uh, but you lose a huge amount of your advantage because black gets active. You have to make sure the diagonal like, stays open. So check here, and now you can probably take, but you can probably also go here. It's probably the best move. I still don't see the win. Where is the win? So, check here, check here, check. Oh, just queen e8 and rook c7. And there's just no way. Ah, oh, advantage gone. No, 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 be forceful. Be forceful in chess, not in, no, not in life. Consent is everything. Rook c7? Yeah, and that's it. So, yeah, I mean, yeah, be forceful. I mean, bishop d6, queen e8, you gotta think, like, this is fine, but it's not a check. But it doesn't matter, I mean... Sorry, what exactly was I analyzing here? Like, you just... Okay, that was like mate in three or something. There's a mate somewhere. There it is. Up a... What? I don't... That wasn't a fun game. You slaughtered him. What? 
That wasn't... What am I supposed to guess? What? I don't know. Ha, I... Okay, well, White played great. And, like, found a night sack that led to a devastating, brutal attack. Uh, the opening is bad. The opening makes me think below 1500. B, the, just the move B6. Like, folks... I feel like no one in this chat would have played b6. I don't know. I, I really just feel like some of you just know me well enough to know that, like, you play the natural-looking moves. Man. Um, but then Black played normal, so I don't know. Maybe... You know what Black might have been thinking? I feel like Black won some games like this. You know some people just follow a game plan in chess? They don't actually, like, try to play the best move. They just try to play the same game every single time. So maybe the person with black plays the Scandinavian, Fian Kato's that way, and then rotates the queen and beats everybody by taking on a... I don't know. It's just a theory. I'm gonna say like... I'm gonna say like... Uh, okay. Scandinavian, normal opening, very strange opening by black, and then white finding all of this is just... I mean, complete control. Crazy. I'm gonna say like 1400. 13, 1400. That's my guess. Very confusing though. I have no clue. Whoa! 1400 it is! 1450, 14, 4, versus 1417. Ah! Not a bad guess to begin, a very good guess. Couple of things gave this away. Wait, did they play a 10 minute game? Wait, they played a 10 minute game and by the end of it, they both spent less than three minutes. The dude with black spent 124 seconds on this game. What's 124 divided by 25? That dude booted up a 10 minute game to spend 4.9 seconds on every move. It's just unbelievable. Crazy. I don't know. I don't, I don't. I don't. I just don't know what the logic is. I mean, like, what's the rush? Just play a three-minute game at that point. If that was a three-minute game, White would have almost flagged. I just. I don't know why y'all do this to yourselves. Really, all of you are like this. I'll play ten minute because you know I got. I got. So I don't like blitz. All right. So. Yeah. Anyway. Okay. E4. E5. You've caught my attention. Jesus, now you've lost my attention. All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Elephant Gambit. That's what this is. The Elephant Gambit. Or it's black playing two pawns in the center because that's what it says to do in beginner guides. I don't know. This is the point. Okay, terrific. Black kind of knows what they're doing. Now, the next move is going to give away a lot. The next few moves are really going to give away a lot. You have to pin the pawn. That's the only move. Uh, and that's what makes this tricky. A lot of beginners will not play this. Uh, and, uh, the point is that after queen d5, there is just a fork, and black gets destroyed. So you have to play, like, knight f6, or even queen e7, maybe. Or bishop e7. What? I don't know what that is. Probably just queen e7. Okay, queen d5, and now black is actually better. So yeah, this is very common. The reason black is better, black has more space, black is developing faster than white. White does not have the natural move knight c3. Bishop e7, not queen d5? What? Bishop e7, not queen d5, is this game mine? No. Oh, you're saying bishop e7 here. That's a move? Why would anybody play that? Okay, you guys know more about elephant gambit theory than me. Doesn't matter. Ooh! That's what happens when you danger level? But then your levels get danger. Yeah, now there's two, two things under attack. Uh-oh. Takes. Takes. Wow, black is crushing. Develop. That's it. Black is now up upon bishop g4. I want black to go after h2 when white castles. Yeah, I want black to play like this. I feel like it's going to be really brutal. Okay, this is very solid. I would have gone knight g4. Queen d6, knight g4. That's what I would have done. Don't trade queens. What is that move? It's not a bad move, it's just a very funny move. The point of queen d3 is meh, you're never gonna develop your bishop, meh. And white is like, well, you're stupid, so now you're gonna lose the pawn. Black's like, 
Oh, what's the better move? Knight e5 or knight c5? Knight e5. It's knight e5 because uh, you attack the bishop. If it's knight c5, white plays b4. That's what you got to be thinking about, right? Knight e5 actually attacks the bishop and makes white go here, and now it's black's move again, and then you get this bishop down to e2, and then it's just the middle finger to the opponent. Uh, ring finger, sorry. Some parents like to watch Guess the Elo with the kids. Forgot about that. YouTube friendly. Middle, like you're scratching your middle finger. You're not sticking it up. Don't do that. That's a bad word. It's like the equivalent of playing the London. I'm just kidding. You can play the London. The jokes never end. B4 played. Wow. B5? The fact that white played B4. Wow, look at... Oh, good lord. Damn. Develop the bishop and win this pawn? Don't win the pawn because there's bishop a3. Yep. Oh. Take the open files. Yep. I would make a luft and then try to win the endgame. <laughs> Don't rush to trade knights when there's an opposite colored bishop endgame looming. But I don't hate this move. You have not blundered anything. There is a main winning idea here for black. It's to sack the pawn and promote. Anytime you have an advanced majority, try to sack one and then promote, right? Semper Fi says, uh, out of all the Gotham content, you finally joined Twitch to follow the streams live? What do you mean you finally joined Twitch? My dude is a seven-month sub with 200 messages. What? I'm so, I'm tripping, bro. I don't know what's going on. What, what is happening? Nice! I just said that. Make sure there's no back rank mate. Nice. Okay, now, what I would do here is offer a draw, because it's a draw. But, if I couldn't do that, I would go here, and then I would try to sack the rook for the bishop, and then promote. Let's see. Okay. All right. Now you, uh, oh, wow, wow. That is really an admission that the game is a draw. White can play a6 and rook b7, and white is winning. That is incredible. Look at this. And then you queen. And if you don't do that, then rook a7. Wow. Oh, go rook c1. Again, I'm telling you, rook c1. Not yet, though. Not yet. You gotta get help with your bishop. But that's another winning idea. Okay, rook e2. Oh! Oh! And yet you're still losing! What?! Oh no! Oh, rook g7, rook g7, rook g7, oh god! No, the wrong way! Wrong way! Now you can run your king! God, why wouldn't you take with check? And check again, oh my lord. Oh my lord. Why would you take the pawn? Oh, check! Oh, the pawn's guarded now. Oh, the pawn's guarded and you hung rook g7. My dude guarded his pawn and then tripped over his own shoelaces. Oh gosh. Check. Check. Oh, rook g7 again. Oh, the pawn's going. Bro's got a pawn that's completely unstoppable and he's not pushing it. He's not pushing- he's not pushing the pawn! Bro, the rook doesn't become a queen when it promotes! What is he doing? Oh, thank god he remembered. Yo, does white win here with like bishop e5 and mate? There's a mate here, potentially. Oh my gosh, what's going on? The pawn's a- it's a queen. What? What? Yo, this dude took the rook. This dude straight up just thought it was checkers. He thought it was checkers. Queen ate his mate. The kid's over. Just mate. He made the queen. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, no. Oh, no. 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 Why is the king running backwards? To whom is he running? Push the pawn. Push the... Yo, why is white not moving his king, bro? The queen can't do everything by herself, bro. She already washes your butt. Move the king! Oh, thank God. Oh, he lost the pawn. He lost the pawn. Oh, my God. He lost the pawn. He lost the pawn. He lost the pawn. Bro, bring the king, bro. Oh, thank you. That's it. It's game. <laughs> what? 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 No. Why did he lose the queen? Why did he lose the queen? What? Oh, okay. Yo, if at the end they had anything more than like five seconds, like, bro, it's mate, like eight different ways. Come on. Come on, it's mate, bro. Oh. Oh. 
Okay, well, this is probably a blitz game between, like, two intermediate players. I think this is a blitz game where White did not know how to react. Like, I could see this being a three-minute game. White is, like, 1,300. He's like, my knight is hanging! And then Black is, like, pushing the advantage. And then... Yeah, this is a three-minute game, and it was probably played between, like, two intermediate players. I think this was a game... I, I, judging how bad the end was, I would say, like... 11, 1200, I think. Let's go see. In a three minute game. Okay, was I right about the. It was a three minute game. Okay, they're a little higher. They're 1300. Wait. Wait, white. Wh no. No. No! White. Wait, White had two and a half minutes? Oh, I'm done. No chance. No chance. Are you... How is that possible? How, how is that possible? He's... Wait, but you... You literally... Okay. I don't even want to look at that game anymore. I don't, I don't care. I'm legit... I'm legit... I'm not... I'm going to pretend that game never happened. No, no, I don't know. No, I don't know. I, I, I don't want to talk about it. 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 Okay? Okay? We're good. Okay? I don't want to talk about it anymore. Thank you. Okay? No. Oh. All right. Ha -ha! Ah! Ah! Bird opening. Here we go. Stonewall. So I would recommend you play... If you're going to go for a stonewall, I would recommend you play it with this move order. Because you might prevent bishop f5, because bishop f5 is actually quite annoying. But, okay, stonewall. Okay, just don't, okay, c3. Yeah, don't do that. Don't do that. I would not play bishop takes f5 because uh, black gets really good control of uh, the e4 square. And, uh, you know... This is the, yeah, I mean, Stonewall is, okay. So you have to play knight e5. You're going to play knight e5, you're going to play it right now. Nah, bishop takes f5 is not the top engine move. I understand, but I'm telling you from a practical standpoint, okay, and by the way, it's like uh, thinking and all moves are about the same. Castling is nice, but I'll tell you why, because you really want this to happen. You really want this to happen. And then you get, I know you guys are like, well, Stockfish says it's minus 0. 0.6. Yeah, but you're, you're going to have diarrhea and like forget about what Stockfish says, so... Yeah, because now you have no play, okay? Now you don't have the typical... But you have an okay position. You, If you're going to play the Stonewall with white, you have to never look at the engine, because the engine hates you, okay? So, knight d2. Uh, streamer mode on Discord? Oh, did Discord go off? Oh, I'm sorry. I disabled streamer mode because I wanted to search something in my Discord, and when streamer mode is on... Oh, I'm sorry if you heard the doo-doo. Sorry. Apologies. Apologies! I turned it back on. Okay. Wait. What? They just lost the knight? That's no questions asked, bro. That's knight takes knight. Okay, three digits. Right? Like 700. Gotta be like seven, eight hundred. Oh my god. Black... Hung a knight in one move, and then forcefully got forked. Why does black want to lose so much material? Why? Why? I don't understand. Okay. You can take with whatever. Knight or pawn here is good. And now what white should do, it's kind of a tricky situation, because white is better, but it's not clear how. Slowly build up that way. Maybe bring a rook over here. I love that move. That's an excellent move. Okay, and now trade. Trade. Just trade the rooks right away. Yup. Now you can't go here, which makes this position kind of difficult. This is why I don't think this game is over. I feel like white is going to play some random pawn moves now. Okay, lost the pawn. Yes, but now the rook comes down here. Yup. Now white is going to play one of these moves. Oh, that's depressing. That is depressing. Okay, yeah, now, all right, we walk directly into the line of sight. Backwards knight move. No. 
Okay, we walk into one discover check. Now we want to walk into another discover check. Yes. Wow. Good job. All right, now black... Yo, that's just a free knight. Okay. Oh, no, 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 no. There is literally one enemy piece on the board. And you have a rook. You have a rook. Move the rook. I don't even care if you go here. Get it close enough so that if you get forked, you actually want this. You want this. Because black will not beat you with pawns. I mean, never say never. But, oh, you hung the rook. No, you didn't hang the rook. Nope. You didn't hang the rook. You hung, you hung the rook again. You hung the rook again. Good God. Nope, you didn't hang the rook. You hung it again. You hung the rook again. I can't... I can't believe you... Oh... I know what's about to happen. The reason why you don't see knight d1 is because black's last move entombed the king on e4. And what's going to happen is that now white accidentally checkmates black. Except this was the final move. That is absolutely demoralizing. Oh my gosh. Chess is a painful game. Imagine finding the fork. Like, imagine you've dil diligently trained forks. That is absolutely savage. Now, the way you avoid blunders like this with white is that a knight, and a, next to your king, you gotta look at all the checks that knight can give you, knight d1, knight e4, because most likely it's gonna hit other pieces. So you got to move the king away from the knight where it cannot touch you. Like here, there is 92, but you take. Or you got to activate your rook. Like you got to activate your rook. Even if you blunder this fork, like I said, you're up a knight, but don't blunder the fork. All right? Crazy. Crazy. That is so nuts. Um... I'm going to say like high 700. I think like mid to high 700. There's no way. There's no way this is a 1200 versus... Nah, no, 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 no. No, come on, guys. Guys, guys, guys. Come on. Jonathan, come on. You're a big supporter of the stream. No way. Jonathan, no way. No, come on, guys. Guys, no. No, guys, no, come on. Did you play this game like six months ago? Guys, there's no way. Guys, there's no way. I mean, come on. There's just no way. I mean, there's no way. No way. Oh, God. Guys. No, oh, come on. This is... <sighs> all right. All right. All right. Ah. Uh... Oh, someone in the chat donated 20 minutes ago and said, are you going to connect with Rosen? He's in New York City. <laughs> There's an air mattress right here. This is where he slept. But no, we will not. I actually stayed at my house. We didn't talk, though, because we got beef. Um, wow. What an amazing episode thus far. Okay. The episode keeps rolling along with two people who don't know how to play the Sicilian defense. All right. No, he's gone. He's, he left, actually. But wow, knight d5. Oh, this is going to be a good game, guys, because no one knows how to play the opening. Oh, my God. Black was like, well, uh, Magnus Carlsen plays Sicilian defense. Amazing. Amazing. Okay. Knight d5. Ay, ay, ay. Oh, the, oh, go. Oh. Check. Yep. I knew it. Okay. My, du my, my dude. My dude hit him with a with a with a with a with a, with a, with a ooga and a booga. A6 castles, nice. Now black has the castles, so they gotta move the bishop. Bishop b5. Oh my, this is like a 400 game. Queen b6. Oh wow, this is. Yeah, this is like this is a very bad game. Black is breaking all principles, no development. 
You gotta get that bishop moving. You gotta get... Oh, you just lost all the pawns. This is why you don't push pawns into nothing. Okay, because when an opponent has castled, they're gonna just defend everything. You gotta develop your other stuff. Nice. Move the queen to safety. Uh-oh, your rook is hanging. Okay. Now your queen's hanging. Oh. Oh, rook b7. What is that? That's... Develop the, develop the bishop. You're forgetting about your king. Oh. It's not even the best move. What is queen d1? Is that defending this? There's like moments of brilliance in this game, but moments of total lunacy. Yo, why is there a pawn promoting? Why is there a pawn just... What? Why did white play that? Why... There's no way that Black actually just came up with this, right? Okay. 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 Wait. Black pushed the H-pawn and sacked the Rook for mate, yet Black played the opening like this? Are they cheating? I mean, Black literally played like, like Benji would. Like, if Benji played chess, he would play like this. And now Black finds an H-pawn infiltration? And now it's mate. You gotta lose the queen. And now... Okay, bishop g7 was not the best move. Oh! Yeah, now... The pawn is promoting, but qu yeah, queen d5 is a very nice move. Black has to activate the, the, the bishop. Black has to play f5. Wow. Seriously? Okay, black is missing like mates. You know, queen e2, queen f1, but okay, I mean, king g6. This is like incredibly smart. This is amazing. Queen a6, hangs rook, gets mated. Huh? Is anyone confused? What was this opening? This was an opening by 400s. I mean, literally 400 quality of opening. I mean, is this bullet? There's no way this... I... Okay. If this is... I don't know. I have no clue. If this is bullet, then I feel like they're like... I don't know. I feel like if this is a bullet game, they might even be 1,500. <laughs> like, seriously. I mean, folks. Who in their right mind finds Rook D2? I'm being honest. Like, you really think a three-digit ELO plays Rook D2? I mean, come on. What are we talking about here? What is this? You would find Rook D2? Wow, you guys have a lot of faith in these players. And then all of this? Yeah, uh, I am going to say... I'm going to say... I'm going to say 1600. That's my guess. I'm guessing 1600. I think there was far too much control of that game. I'm saying 1600. I'm, I'm taking a crazy, crazy bet, but I'm thinking it's 1600. Well, they were 900. <laughs> and it was a 10 minute game. Oh, God. Oh, well, you miss 100% of the shots that you. I feel like White deleted his account after this game. I really feel like, I, 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 I really feel that way. When was this game played? The guy deleted his account April 6th, and this game was April 3rd! He, like, deleted his account because of this game. Seriously. This dude, like, uh, three days later, he was done. He had enough. He was like, I can't believe what I'm doing out here. I'm done with chess. All right, last game. It's a long game. Oh, it's content already. D4, C5. E5. 
B4. Holy crap. Okay, so D4, C5. I mean, D5 is the best move. DC is okay, but black gets a decent position. There's some lines you can defend the pawn, but you have to know bishop e3. Uh, yeah, this is not it, because black can very quickly play a5 and b6, as well as just normally ignoring you. Or, or d5. d5 is a horrible move, because you can very quickly attack the... Like, the move d5 does not actually do anything about your pawns. And this is now a queen's gambit accepted, but a much better version of it, because you can immediately attack this pawn and... Go like his, bishop g5, etc. But okay, e3. You got a fianchetto. Got a fianchetto. What is, what is f3? Is that a slip? Did you actually mean to play f3? Or did you mean to play knight f3? I want you to be honest with me. This is going to give me a little insight. That's crazy. You actually played it. You, you meant... What?! Wait, what is... Black lost the pawn on move one! That's literally his opening! Why did he... Why did he sack a knight?! And I'm saying he. I know you're not supposed to assume. Alright? And I'm progressive with my... I'm, I'm progressive, you know, with my, with my gendered language. A dude did that. Alright? Women are smarter than men. Alright? No... Like, no woman's playing knight c5. Alright? She's thinking ahead. That is a dude playing that move. I'm Tom. That's a dude move. He's like, oh, I don't like these pawns. That's what I'm saying. Alright? No. No, he did that. 100% he played knight takes c5. No chance. I'm telling y'all. I'm, I'm telling you, bro. That's a, no chance. Lucy would have never played knight c5. All right? I'm telling when 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 uh when I used to teach young boys, young girls, young boys always like, "Yo, I'm playing this move." Boom. They lose all their pieces. Girls are always like a little sus of everything. They're always like, "Is that hanging?" I was like, hold on, before I play, like, they're a little bit more perfectionist when they're, when, when, when they're younger. It's pretty fascinating, actually. Boys are like, I lost the name. Dude, I used to teach this kid, I'm not gonna say his name, he used to hang all his pieces and play instantly and then cry. He'd be like, it's not fair. I'm not even joking, you would take a free piece, like, like, that, and he would go, it's not fair. Like, what do you mean it's not fair, stupid? I didn't say that to him, because his parents paid me, but... Anyway, white wins a few pawns. All right, so what's going on here? Uh, white is up a knight and a pawn. Hmm. Interesting. Okay, you got to defend that. Castle, just get out of the way. Okay. You are very lucky that this is going to come with check because that queen is hanging. So, if this was not a check... Knight d3 check comes and you lose your queen. Because it's not the, the fork. And there it is. Yeah. Terrific. Terrific. Knight d3. Knight a4. So knight a4 loses because you can take this bishop. You can take that bishop for absolutely free. Like, if you take the queen, there's this. Now, you know what you're going to say? You're going to say, Gotham, no, you can't. You just told us about this. That's why you give a check first. Checks. Everybody misses checks. And then you take the bishop. And then you take the knight. And then you castle. And then you win. Okay. But instead of that, white plays. What? Wait, you castled now? You gave a full queen away. No questions asked. And then you lost the bishop too. <laughs> oh God. All right. I thought maybe the knight that's like in everybody's business is going to... My dude just galloped in and just lost... Okay, now he saw it. All right, terrific. Now we got an end game. Terrific. All right, we got rook a7 on the way. You got to see that move, right? Play you my oh my you know what I think is I think it's gonna go knight a4 rook a1 and then it's gonna take no never mind rook b3 rook c3 no but why is the rook staring into the knight's butt the rook is a weirdo dude can the rook move out of the knight's butt then let the knight gallop let the rook move that's not a free pawn all right there's a king over there you take it rook c1 rook c1 rook c1 all right h all right big brain Rookie four, 
Damn. Can I predict one of your moves? 96? Nice. Rook e4. Okay, g4. Pog. a5. b5. Rook b5. Rook a1. Black should go rook b2, and the game is like almost over. Okay. Rook b1. Take it. Take on b5. Free pawn. No. Take on something. Take rook d1. Yes. Predicted. Knight c5 check. Damn. Knight d4. Knight d4. Uh, check. Take pawn. Huge endgame. Oh my god, I'm so scared. Who's gonna win? Place your bets. G5, G6, Rook, G7, Knight E6? Why? Bro, you have a pawn. Move it. Oh god, Rook B5 is coming. G5? There it is. Oh gosh, it's a race. Rook A1, G7, Knight B3, A- Oh! Oh, that is the galaxy brain play right there. It's a draw. It's a draw, but maybe someone's gonna win. King e oh, here comes the king. The king hasn't had a chance yet. The king hasn't had a chance to participate. Oh, the pawns are gone. The pawn is being lost. Both pawns are down. But you win one for yourself and it's still completely equal. He hung his knight, but he hung the pawn. It's a draw. It's a draw. But he hung the fork. He hung the fork and you won. Oh, God. That was not chess. That was the, that was the Hunger Games. Y'all both were bleeding. Just bleeding broken limbs crawling through the forest that was survival that was survival no one won that game one man didn't die that day oh god um wow i'm gonna say 900 900 is my guess on the money 943 versus 984. I'm a god. I'm a god. I'm a god. I'm a god. I don't know what to tell you. I don't. I mean, I. I just lights out. Lights out. I get everything right. I ne I've never had a wrong guess in my life. Never.